yeah, I thought I'd mention in regards to the other video, I'll put up this as a sort of like reflection. Because I go into philosophy, I mentioned Hegel, this uh, philosopher at the start of the 19th century who was so influential, and this master slave dialectic, this relationship in regards to self consciousness. And for those of you who are interested in philosophy in that sense, I see a lot of people experience that same dependency on your master, if it's your boss at work, or I see the same thing today. And Hegel picked up on it, and it's from the this uh, class society that we've had since the Bronze Age, and that's why I call this Mannerbund. Oh, it's snowing. I'm not burning now, but I thought I just need to put this down and just share it with you guys. So, if you have a uh, dependency, the whole point of Hegel is that it's a fear-based dependency, a fear-based from below. So if the master, the lord, the king, the boss, he doesn't need, he has his position, he doesn't need to have any fear. He can have fear of losing the position, of course, but he's defending his position. He's not, defend, he's not dependent on the relationship to the worker or the, the, the slave, the knecht, as they say in Norway and in, in Germany, in German. So, if you're able to, you can bypass this. You can, you can learn from this. You can learn from this in, in like the start of the Viking Age. It was very, very rigid, the whole system there. I'm trying to say this without smiling now because <laughs> it's, it's not hail, it's snow, I guess. It's not rain, oh, anyway. So there are ways to bypass it, there are techniques. It's more difficult if you're a woman. Because, I mean, it's like, uh, we have this word in Norway, haske technique, it's a fashion word means hashke, it means the rule, the techniques to rule. Um, I'm sure there's an English word for it, because it's caught on, you know. You don't, if you're not able to, if you're not able to accept the way you've been treated, but you haven't said anything to it, that means in reality you accept it, right? But for some reason, this word has come out, hashke technique, where you complain afterwards and say, ah, he used hashke technique because it's top down, and it's not allowed. Of course it's allowed. I mean, either you accept to be treated this way, and then you accept to be treated this way many times over. And there are consequences, because if you don't, if you feel you don't want to accept it, you can lose your job. That's the fear-based um, dependency I'm talking about. That's what Hegel wrote about. But the thing is, and here's my point, every time I've been in a situation, bottoms up, I mean, not bottoms up, but from not top bottom, but bottom top. And I've shown not fear, but I've shown bravery, I've shown integrity, and I've stood my ground. I've experienced, my experience is that it's been rewarded, always. Because people at the top, they appreciate that. If you do it the right way, I mean, there's got to be some confrontation in there, right? I think that's where this word has come, why it's come so strong in Scandinavia, because in Norway and Sweden, we are not very good on confrontations. It's part of the culture. And um, that means people like where I come from in the fisherman's area of Norway, where if you don't listen to what I'm saying aboard a fishing ship, up there in the northwest of Møre, you die. If you don't listen, you die. This is so difficult to sail there. And that has been copied on a shore, in the culture there. That's why people from that region, like Solskjær, Ole Gunnar Solskjær, he's from the same area where I'm from. You gotta be good at the confrontations. If you're not, you die. <laughs> and it's part of the culture. And, uh, and that, I think that's why I've been able to fight off this Dane professor in October, November, December, if you saw that, and January. I mean, you stand your ground, you stick to your facts, because you know you're right, you stick to the truth, and you show some spirit, you show some integrity, 
and you show some bravery. It's always rewarded. So this uh, slave, this master slave, dialectic we can say, it doesn't need to exist. You can bypass it. I said it's more difficult for a woman, yes, because women are often much more easily labeled as, uh, uh, can I say that word on YouTube? Starts with B and ends with beach, I guess. <laughs> And, and uh, that makes it more difficult, but it's possible all you women watching this because you can do it in a gallant behavior. You upset this, um, I talked about in my previous video with uh, regarding this, the master slave. Well, it, if it's a princess and, uh, and the knight, you switch that around. If you're able to be gallant, you do it gallantly, but it takes a lot of finesse. And it's not for everyone, mind you. And I gotta go now, because the wind is coming and, uh, and it's definitely snowing. Yeah, I hope that was uh, some words for thought, food for thought. And, uh, and it's all part of philosophy, I guess. But yeah, I should tell you about my relationship with Arnes, the senior, this Norwegian philosopher who was very strong on uh, this one part of philosophy. Worldwide, actually, uh, eco philosophy, um, living in pact with nature. <laughs> I think I'll do a video on that too, also. But I hope you enjoy this. Uh, I felt it, I couldn't just leave that master slave, the philosophy, the Hegel, that quickly that I did in the video. So that's why I put up this for those of you who are interested. All right, take care. I'm off to continue my run here now. The snow is gone. So let's see how it goes. See ya.